She took our baby boy with a single gunshot through his heart. She shattered mine. An emotional day in court for the mother of Dante Wright as former Brooklyn Center police officer Kim Potter learned her fate. She has been sentenced to 24 months but will serve 16 in prison for the murder of Dante Wright. And that is topping tonight's 10 at 10. An emotional day for many, including Judge Regina Chu, months after this deadly shooting. Fox 9's Mary McGuire catches us up to speed with more on Potter's sentencing. Mary? And Karen, this two-year sentence is a significant reduction from state sentencing guidelines for someone convicted of first-degree manslaughter. Kim Potter will now serve the next 16 months in prison and the rest on supervised release. Say his name! Anger and frustration spilling into the streets of downtown Minneapolis Friday night after the sentencing of former Brooklyn Center police officer Kimberly Potter. Get him in the street! Get him, get him in the street! Get him in the street! Get him in the street! A caravan of protesters, including Dante Wright's mother Katie, demonstrating in front of what they said is Judge Regina Chu's home. To those who disagree and feel a longer prison sentence is appropriate, as difficult as it may be, please try to empathize with Ms. Potter's situation. This after an emotional day in court where Judge Chu got choked up when sentencing Potter to two years in prison for the traffic stop killing of Dante Wright, calling it one of the saddest cases in her 20 year career. Wright's family had a chance to speak directly to Potter in their victim impact statements. She took our baby boy with a single gunshot through his heart. She shattered mine. Potter offering up this tearful apology for her deadly mistake. Katie, I understand a mother's love, and I am sorry I broke your heart. Now, in response to the sentencing, Attorney General Keith Ellison saying in part, quote, Judge Chu heard from the witnesses and attorneys on both sides. I urge everyone to accept her judgment. I don't ask you to agree with her decision. There is no cause for celebration. No one has won. Now, Kim Potter is back at the state women's prison in Shakopee tonight. In court this morning, we learned her attorneys are concerned for her mental health as she has been kept in isolation for her safety for about the last two months. Karen. All right, Mary, thank you.